Welcome to the Mom and Dad Cuss a Little podcast, hosted by me, Rihanna, and my husband, Adam. That's me. Hello. We started this show to give a realistic look at marriage and parenting. No sugar-coated rainbows and unicorns here. What makes us so qualified, you may ask? Well, we've been married for seven and a half years. We're mommy and daddy to four little boys, ages... Hang on. Seven, four, three, and one. Does that mean we know it all? Thankfully not. But as we work it through, we share our experiences and pro tips with you. Gets chaotic around here and messy and stressful. Don't even begin to cover it. But if you want someone who's going to tell it like it is, you've come to the right place. That was oddly formal. Whatever. (laughs) You always give me shit when I do the intro. You do it next time, jerk. (laughs) You did it for so long. Then shut up. I know. No one likes you. You're adopted. Are we back on that subject again? I love you. (laughs) If you could only see the look in her eyes right now. So, as a recap, this, I guess, this week is is part two of our our holiday planning. That's previously on the Mom and Dad Cuss Little podcast. Yes. Um, (laughs) Yeah. We just, we kind of started our little. You know, ho- holiday prep guidelines, I guess. Yeah. Just kind of a, a what to expect when you're expecting yeah. the holidays, I guess. <laughs> I don't That book may actually exist. We don't. <laughs> it's possible. What to expect when you're expecting a holiday. <laughs> Tragedy. Da, da, da. Chaos. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, it's not all bad, I swear. But go back and listen to that one if you haven't already. Go back to episode 17? Yeah, 17. I don't keep track of numbers. I just record this shit. It says part one on it, so... You're supposed to keep up with that. I'm just here to to say stuff. I know. I'm I'm just the pretty talent. Yeah. And apparently you've got the... can tell that I'm pretty because it's a podcast, but that's okay. Anyway, uh, So this week we're just going to jump into a lot more of the details of it and kind of go over, like, give you guys a a better look at what we actually do, like what it what actually goes into a holiday or a trip for us. Um, and we're actually going to do kind of give you a couple of examples, either an in town trip or an out of town trip. So you'll get to kind of see the differences between those two. And keep in mind, this is absolute, like, worst case scenario because we've got four kids. Hopefully you're not in our boat. And if you do, if you are, man, I am really sorry. I know that pain. I'm right there with you. (laughs) But if if you're in the same situation or worse, see, that sounds so much, that sounds bad if you're in. But again, I'm one of six kids, so, so this is second nature to me. But yeah, if you're in this same massive amounts of family boat, we're pr- you probably got this shit down by now. We're gonna need a bigger boat. <laughs> <laughs> a bigger boat. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't watch Jaws over Halloween season. No, very recently, actually, <laughs> for the first time ever. Yay! But um, yeah, uh, the, yeah, you probably got this down, but. Well, for those of you who don't... (laughs) That's what we're here for. That's what we're here for. Aren't you lucky? (laughs) (laughs) Let our chaos be your guide. Oh. (laughs) You're screwed. (laughs) (laughs) So, my dear, as this was your project... Oh, boy. (laughs) That I didn't work on at all. Uh, Uh, You came up with this idea, so... Can you extend my deadline? I had a family emergency. That was always my line. Yeah, no. (laughs) Like, what what family emergency? (laughs) You're telling me. (laughs) Oh, no. No, we're good. No one died. No one died. Yeah, yet. Okay. (laughs) <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's like 8.30. I am so tired. <laughs> anyway, so... Where are we starting this evening, my dear? I thought we'd start this evening on something really fun. We can't broadcast that. What? 
Nothing, never mind. <laughs> oh my god! You are horrible. We're not doing that. Shame on you. No, I thought we started on something really fun and we'd play a game. Okay. <laughs> so last week I said that we would play What's in Your Diaper Bag. So we're going to play What's in Your Diaper Bag. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go with the... Uh, pre. You, you need to be pre-warned. She's making this shit up. <laughs> I have no clue where this is going. Neither do I. It's fun. <laughs> we'll, we'll explore this together. Um, Believe it or else, um, 90% of what we do on this show is improv. So <laughs> Yeah, there's no script. There's no script. There's little to no planning. That's why the intro is different almost every week. Anyway. <laughs> this week is what happens when you script the intro. We're probably scrapping that whole idea anyway. Anyway. So, we're going to play a game called What's in Your Diaper Bag. Both of us are going to... I, we have we have pencils and papers. There's my, there's my thing. Okay. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to get 30 seconds to write everything that we would need to put in a diaper bag for a specific trip. You said you wanted to do an in-town trip. So, yeah. you get to write everything that we would need to put in the diaper bag for an in-town trip. I'm going to write everything that we would need to put in the diaper bag for an out-of-town trip, and then we're going to, like, what's the word? Compare. Not compare, but, like... Uh, read our list. Audit. Audit. I'm going to take an audit of yours. You're going to take an audit of mine to make sure that you have all the right things and that I have all the right things and that we're not missing anything. Okay. And this is going to teach preparation. Yes. <laughs> now, because you can't pack your diaper bag in thirty seconds. Trust me. Yeah, I'm almost hundred percent sure we also can't make the list in thirty seconds. But we'll we'll try for the sake. If you don't stop clicking that pin, I swear to God, I'm gonna put it through your eyes. <laughs> I can't help it. Then trade me. I will murder you. <clears throat> so, thirty seconds on the clock. I have to move the microphone because I'm sitting in a ergonomically friendly space. Okay. So, before we start, I have to ask. I already moved the microphone. Well, I can ask you the what? question and you can then answer. Um, in your case, are are we looking at just the diaper bag or are we looking at the, like, everything we're going to need to pack for said trip? Good question. It's like, is this the diaper bag or the entire car? Well, it's what's in your diaper bag. So, let's do what's in your diaper bag. Just stick with the diaper bag. Yeah. All right. And I'm, I imagine that because of the, the differentiation, we're going to want some numbers to go with this. Numbers? Like, how many diapers are you packing? Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Got it. This is also giving you a, a dad perspective versus a mom perspective, so yeah. you can see which one of us is the more overprotective. It's me. And more, you know, laid back As long as you're not packing helmets, and... then I think then you're not that overprotective. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. So I guess that's her admitting there's probably going to be helmets on her list. Sammy's helmet doesn't fit anymore. <laughs> okay. So. Setting the microphone back over there. Should I start the Jeopardy music? <laughs> 30 seconds, go. Okay, and we're, we're, I guess that's we're time. We're still here. <laughs> we're still here. Okay, dear. So. Who wants to go first? Rock, paper, scissors, right, set, go. And it's one, two, three, go, not one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. Okay, seriously, I, I, I shot before you and you still threw paper. What the hell? Okay, so I guess I'm going to go first. That's usually what happens anyway. <clears throat> Rude. <laughs> okay, so um, once again, I've got the the in town like day trip, and this is just what's in in my diaper bag, or the diaper bag for the boys. So as we've got the the we got a baby and we've got a toddler, so we got one in pull ups, one in diapers. So I got three diapers and three pull ups. Okay. Yeah, 
with the caveat of they were freshly changed right before we loaded them up. Right. <laughs> As always. Um, one backup outfit for the baby, one backup outfit for a uh, toddler, uh, including, and then extra socks for him as well. You're like head to toe full outfit. Okay. So we got like one onesie and then like one shirt, pant, socks, whatever. Um, full bottle, like fully, fully mixed bottle okay. for the baby. And we've got that, the little like three serving dish thing of formula. So like three formula, like bottles worth of formulas, like pre-portioned out. Yep. So, and then just a bottle of water, like a, like a water know. bottle, like not like sippy cup, but like a, just a bottle of water. So like Evian. Yeah. Yeah. Not like Evian, but I mean like. But a, like a bottle of water. I get it. No, I mean like a, a like, um, like, not like a sippy cup, but like a, a sports bottle or something. Oh. So that, you know, if somebody needs water, here's a water bottle to oh, okay. take, like a reusable water bottle. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. So mine and. I, I know what I'm missing now. Let's see if you can catch what I'm missing. I said one outfit for uh, I know what I'm I know what I missed and it's it just like as soon as you said I'm missing something, you're like, oh shit, that's a big red flag, but I'll get there. Okay. So one outfit per child, socks, underwear, shorts and shirt. Mm-hmm. Including for Sam, he gets the full ensemble as well. So that you got you have <laughs> Four outfits because you've got all four kids because you're a yes. long-term trip. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And I have one outfit for every child. Yeah. Um, the entire tub of formula is coming with us. Yeah. With two bottles. Yeah. Because it's a pain in the ass to keep up with just one. And the bottle brush. Yep. And the little travel thing of soap. soap. <laughs> I put I only put five diapers and five pull-ups, but... I really feel like I should probably put a few more in there. When you're familiar, and I think that kind of really goes to the, you're familiar with your kid's changing schedule. Yeah. Because I know five would get either one of them through the day. Now, if you're, that's about a, that's a whole day. Like that's a day trip. Like in our case, like drive to Tucson, drive back. That'll get us there and back. Right. Yeah. But I don't know. Just eh, I don't know. Yeah. Um. The entire thing of wipes. Yeah. Which I don't think you put wipes on. I yours. did not put wipes. I was going to say, like, let's <laughs> go back and see what did we miss. Um. I also threw in some snacks for them. Yeah. A spare blanket, just in blankets, case. Blankets. Yeah. Um. Depending on where we're going, I would throw in a thing of sunscreen and mosquito spray. That's very dependent on where we're going. It's very dependent on where we're going. Like, are we going to be in a pool or outdoors right. or something? Yeah. And then Dr. Pepper for me. You you don't pack the diaper bag with Dr. Pepper. No, but I put one in the diaper bag because the diaper bag usually sits really close to me. That doesn't count. <laughs> okay. The thing that I forgot, let me see your list, because you had one on there that I forgot. Water bottle? Let me see. Because that's all Give I could think of. Give me the freaking paper. Jesus <laughs> the only thing I'm missing compared to you, that I have that you yeah, don't no, is the water just, bottle. It was just the water. Yeah, it's just I kind of a, water. yeah, like, we, and I, I think we'd have, like, cups for all of the boys. Yeah. And, and then I missed the wipes. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. But I think that, that about covers it. Yeah, as far as, like, actually what's in your diaper bag. Yeah, that's kind of it. And I mean, it's, it's kind of a no-brainer, but it's really a matter of when you're in a rush, you forget things. Mm-hmm. Just like, oh, which is kind of the point of doing it. It's like, oh, we got to quickly scramble down our list. I forgot wipes. Yeah. I forgot like, water. You forgot water. It's like, you've got a tub of formula and no way to make bottles. Yeah. Until we get where Until we're Until we get there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the other thing that or I forgot Or the kids was, are sitting there dehydrated. It's all crap yeah, that from was, the drive. That was what I was going to say was taking everybody's water sports bottle. Thing. Yeah, everybody's water bottles. Because, yeah, you need you need to have it. it, it you don't think about it, but it is something definitely, especially in our case, living in, in Arizona, yep. you have to travel with water. Yeah. And I mean, I put snacks, but yeah. I forgot water. Short haul, maybe you don't need snacks. Like in town trip, you don't really need snacks. No, but going out of town, like when we go to Tucson yeah, or whatever, out of town, it's handy to have a have bag to. of Cheerios or something. Yeah, you're driving over an hour. You, you're going to have fussy kids. It's good to have, just like, a, yeah, like you said, a bag of Cheerios to shut them up. Yeah. 
pretty much. <laughs> it has nothing to do with hunger. It's just bag here. Of goldfish, whatever you have on hand, here, share with your brothers. Here, is a, here is a, a <laughs> Ziploc bag full of something. Shove it in your face so you're not talking. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. But that that is basically how that goes. And this is why, this is a perfect example of why you should prepare ahead of time. This is why I write a list and I have a list saved in a, an Excel spreadsheet. Because whenever, you love your spreadsheets. Oh my god, I love spreadsheets so much. <laughs> but whenever we go on our big vacation, I've got it color-coded. You know, this is Adam's block. This is what goes in Adam's luggage bag. This is what goes in mine. This is what goes in each child's. And then this is what goes in the diaper bag, specifically. Yeah. You know, I've got it broken down like that. Yeah. And it's so handy and we've never had an instance where we're we missing forgot to something. yeah we've never missed packing something on the way up we've forgotten shit when we were coming home that's yeah that's <laughs> i think we've left story. shoes or socks or pajamas at every on every single vacation at some point i mean i feel like everybody does that so <laughs> yeah. it's like everybody leaves their toothbrush in the hotel or exactly or they left a pair of but socks we never and get whatever. there missing something yeah. we never have to make a trip to walmart or whatever because we're missing something yeah now we do kind of do the smart thing when we go on vacation and we take diapers and pull-ups that we need for the trip there and then we buy what yeah. we will need while we're there yeah but i mean that's a that's the vacation that's a whole other thing that's a whole other now thing. if you are one of those people that takes like an entire week uh, like and you go it's like you're driving cross country to go visit grandma in montana for Thanksgiving or for Christmas or for whatever, and you're taking a week off and you're going to be on long haul. Yeah, that totally applies to you. Right. Um, I don't know anybody who necessarily does that in that person, in that. I mean, they make movies about it, but does anybody really do it? I don't think anyone really does that anymore. And if they do, they probably, if, if you can make those trips, you probably are flying. I mean, I, I don't know if anybody actually does that, but if you do, then, you know, I'll, all for it. Have fun. Yeah. Have, um, those, have that extra long term. But yeah, like I said, you know, pack what you need for ahead. this. Plan ahead. Yeah. Definitely plan ahead. And I know it sounds stupid, but write a list that it's going to yeah. help you no matter what kind of a planner you are. If you work best, you know, last minute, under pressure, whatever. Make sure you've got at least a sticky note with everything that you're going to need to put yeah. in there. Just having it on paper is so much, it makes it easier to be sure. Yeah. Because then you know, like, okay, yeah, that's that's exactly what I'm going to yeah. need. Now, for us, some of the things that I really like are the actual products that we have that make our trips that much more convenient. Yeah. Not necessarily just the diaper bag stuff, which we do have, but and the stuff that we have that I like in our diaper bag um, is our bottle brush, which we'll post links and pictures to all of this in the show notes, but our bottle brush is we actually got it from Target, and it's a complete silicone, like, tip to top, to top to bottom, um, little flower. So it's got, it's, like, got daisy petals, like, two rows of petals, and then the little the, stamen. The, the stamen. We're going to have to get middle. into flower anatomy. <laughs> yeah, flower right. anatomy here for a second, guys. Um, but all of that in the middle, and it's all this, like, rubber silicone stuff. And the other end of it is still the rubber silicone, but it's the actual, like... It's like a corkscrew. It's like a silicone corkscrew tip with a... For the... the for the bottle. The nipples on the bottle. Um, I don't like saying that word. Ugh. I don't know. I don't know. It, it's... It, even though you're talking about a baby bottle, I don't know. I don't like saying it either. It's, we it sounds dirty. Tops. We just call them tops. <laughs> the top of the baby bottle, whatever um, it is. But it, it cleans out the tops and basically the same that a brush brush would do. But what I love about it is it doesn't matter if it gets dirty, if it's in a diaper bag, because you can just rinse it off because it's silicone and it's everything silicone just comes and right off. And you can toss it in the dishwasher. Yeah, it is 100% dishwasher safe. And it has been the most sturdy bottle brush we have had ever. We've had that for over a year. We've had this for a few years. Yeah. We've had this at least since Bug. We got this for Bug. Did we? Yeah. I thought we got this for Sam. No, we bought this one for Bug. Oh, wow. So, yeah, yeah, we've, we've had, had this for, for about three years. Almost three years. Because we burned through a lot of cheap 
bottle brushes. Yeah. And, we were, and we they were good bottle brushes. They'd last us, you know, several months. Most of the time, if we had to replace a bottle brush, it was more because we went on vacation and forgot it. <laughs> yeah, usually. Or, I mean, they do rust. The typical, your yeah. typical, you know, run of the mill bottle brush. Because they've got the wire core, and ultimately they just can they all the water exposure they rust. Yeah, and that or you they get nasty. Yeah, or like. And what I like about this one is it comes with its own little stand, which looks like a little white vase. Yeah. So they totally <laughs> play up the whole flower thing. <laughs> yeah, it's great. It's adorable, but it's I mean it fits in everything. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, you do have to kind of shove it in there, but. I mean, what don't you have to shove in places nowadays? Um, he, he, don't look at me like that. <laughs> um, We've gone there enough by now. But, you know, it, it you do have to, like, kind of maneuver it. Um, but, I mean, it fits in everything. I use it to clean out mason jars. I use it to do the bottles, cups, things like that. Yeah. I mean, it's super handy. And it's so easy to keep track of. And it's super sturdy. Like, yeah, we could use a new one, but ours isn't falling apart. No. And it looks nice. Yeah. It, it doesn't cute. just look like a, like a, you know, a bottle brush, ratty bottle brush sitting there in your counter. Yeah. It looks like this, what's this, orange, this purple pink flower thing on, like, oh, that's a bottle brush. That's a bottle brush? <laughs> yeah. Well, we get we that even, a lot. We yeah. even got comments when we took it on vacation because people were like, oh, what is that? Oh, it's our bottle brush. See? Bottle brush. Yeah. It's nifty. But I really like it, and then I we will also, say it is it is it does cost quite a bit more than your run of the mill bottle brush. But when you consider that we haven't had to buy a bottle brush, which typically run about seven bucks for a two pack, yeah, this one cost us about ten bucks for one. But it's lasted us three years that we've had for ten years, and we've burned through not ten years, but not ten years. Yeah, it's like we've burned through two or three bottle brushes each kid. This one has yeah. lasted us through two kids. <laughs> so and it's I, still going strong so it's definitely worth the money to get it plus with the portability of it i mean i i can't recommend this thing enough yeah um, and they're not paying us for this they're not paying us for this <laughs> they, should be. they can go ahead y'all you, you people with the flowery uh, bottle brush company uh, that sells them yeah, at target ching ching yo um <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that was terrible that was a little racist <laughs> What is next on our our, our favorite uh, travel equipment here? The next one, oh, it's from the company called Boone. B-O-O-N, Boone. That's the flower brush? That is. And it's only $8. Yeah, I was like, I didn't think it was that expensive. Oh, it comes in different colors. Look at that. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like you just had to pull it up to see. I googled see. it, but look, that one's got more petals. Oh, that one, yeah, those, they, they've upgraded them since we got ours. I mean, there's ours, but yeah. the other one was all like... they got lots of colors now. Okay. Cool. Anyway, okay. so our next thing is the, I don't know what it is, but it's like a baby food container with three little sections. Um, I think it's like officially like a snack container. Yes. It's like a three compartment snack container. No, I actually found it. It's called it's an it's actually called a formula dispenser. Oh, okay. so it is what we use it for. Okay, I was like we're not <laughs> misappropriating something. No. And it's just a little cup that's sectioned off into three little sections. It's got a lid on it with similar it's to like, like a, a yeah. similar to like a water bottle spout on it where you pop the cap open and, and pour and pour it. Um and you can turn it to the different sections and yeah. all that. They have them everywhere. I know the brand that we have is like four bucks at Babies R Us. Yeah. Um, I've I've seen them at Walmart. I've seen them at Target. Yeah, I mean everywhere has them. Yeah, for some baby form stuff. of of this device. But the formula dispensers are amazing because you can just pre-portion the bottles, and we actually have two. Um, my sister in law, our sister in law, um, gave us one that she wasn't using anymore. And so now we have two, and you can portion them out to where you have three eight-ounce bottles or, you know, a couple eight-ounce bottles and a six-ounce bottle. Yeah. However you want to portion it out. And it's so handy to just have that and, you know, you already know you don't have to deal with the scoop or opening up the full tub of formula. Yeah. You just have it It makes it possible to theoretically it. mix a bottle on the, on the move. Yeah. Which it's like, oh, grab the shake and, like, grab the little, the little cup. 
grab a bottle of water and you can mix a bottle on on the run and not have to sit there fumbling with a a thing of formula. Yeah. Because now they make those little pouches of like pre-portioned formula and all. Those things are expensive as hell. Yeah, they are. Pre-portioned formula pouches are expensive as hell. When you're like us and you buy pretty much everything in bulk, we get the biggest tub of formula that there is. Yeah. That lasts us a good week. It lasts, it holds, we get a good week out of it. Yeah, that lasts a good week, sometimes a week and a half. But if you do that, then you know that it's not easy to just lug that thing with you yeah, if no, you're going a, on like a two-hour trip. It's a big tub. Right. If you're just going to be gone for the day and you don't need the full tub, those little containers are damn handy. Yeah. I yeah. love them. Hence why I, that's what I put on my list. Yep. Um, the other thing is whatever stage your child is at of a water bottle, take it with you. Yeah. Because no matter what, if you end up somewhere where you're at your parents' house or your parent-in-law's house, I guarantee you they are not going to have cups for your Sippy kids. Sippy cups or what? It's like, it's better to carry it your damn self. Yeah. Yeah. It's just easier that way. Yeah. And then you know for sure that your child has something that is your child friendly. They're not going to break anything yeah. while they're trying to take a drink of water. You go to grandma's house and grandma's only got glass and you are not about to give that to your kid. Yeah. So those are kind of pro tip. Yeah. You know, just make sure you have those with you. Yeah. Um, also, travel thing of uh, dish soap. Because trust me, no matter what, you want it. Yeah, it's just handy. It's just darn handy. And they're like a dollar. So, yeah. get it. Much like traveling with the water bottles, it's it's like, yeah, you could theoretically not have it. But having it gives you the ability to oh, say clean a bottle out if you have to. Yeah. And if you're making a long road trip or whatever and say you have to stop and you have to wash out a bottle or you whatever, you've got it. Yeah. You're not sitting well, there with like, not, with your whatever water bottles or cups or, or milk bottle or whatever getting nasty through the course of your excursion. Right. Well, and that's like, you know, with us on our vacation, it's an 18-hour one-way trip. Yeah. So, it makes it a lot easier to pour a couple of ounces of water in, get a little bit of dish soap, and sit there in, on the side of the road and scrub out the bottles than, you know trying to find somewhere to wash these bottles yeah. or making or letting them get nasty for the whole trip. Or even if we were at like a rest stop and like oh yeah like you're in the restroom at the truck stop or whatever and but you have the ability to actually wash out the bottle with soap. Yeah. <laughs> no matter where you are. Yeah. So definitely take it with you. Um products that I love I feel like that we love that are not diaper bag specific. This is the rest of the stuff that would be in the car, basically. The rest of the stuff, yep. Yeah. What is your favorite item? Because I have a few. <laughs> um, and I guess it goes to even though I'm like the stay-at-home dad kind of guy, I'm 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 very much the the short term, the short haul drive guy. Um, but. I don't know. I'm trying to think of what like my favorite devices for for, so, for trips. I don't know. For me, it's kind of a tie because I love our travel high chair. Yeah, I absolutely adore that thing. It was well worth the sixty dollars. Yes, it was sixty dollars. Yes, I realize that's a lot of money. <laughs> yes, it's damn handy. Yeah, because and I I keep going back to our vacation. I know, but that's the biggest time that we use any of these things. We also, so, I mean, we did use it last year for Thanksgiving, yeah. just going out to my mom's. And that's, that's you know, it's a day trip. That's our, you know, that's our, our basis for our, our out of town holiday trip. Right. It's like, we're, we're going two hours out of town to go to my mom's. She's just not going to have a high chair for our kid. Right. So it, we, yeah, you kind of, it's, it is, and it's, it's a really odd thing to think about having to, the needing to have, but it's kind of something you need to have. Yeah. 
Otherwise, what are you doing as far as, like... If Baby's you're... gonna have to sit on your lap yeah. and make a mess. And then you're not gonna really get to eat. And then you have yeah, to, like, just hand a, back and mess. forth. It's it's just a hassle. Yeah. So it's so much easier... It takes you out of enjoying the holiday. Right. So it's so much easier to just have a high chair. Or, even better, another example for it is when we had um, your brother and his wife come over for... I think it was last Christmas. They came... To visit, and we had the second high chair. Yeah, it, it, yeah. Even even in that case, it just subbed as a as a backup high chair to have around the house. Yeah, because they have a girl, a little girl who is about, I think she just turned two. She just turned three. No, I'm pretty sure she just turned two. Okay. So. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a terrible uncle. <laughs> I don't know. I can barely keep my own kids straight, but I'm pretty sure she just turned two. You don't know how old you are. Yes, I do. 25-ish. Ish. Um, Big-ish. Okay. Rude. But it it <laughs> it helped because we had somewhere for her to sit. We had somewhere for our baby to sit. You know, when, when you've got two kids in the house that are in high chairs and you only have one high chair, having that little backup one, even though it's a travel one, so it's a little bit smaller, and it's it's more like a... A folding lawn chair with a tray. So, like what yeah. you would what you what you would envision a high chair to look like, you know, the little seat with the tray in those front. Those like those like uh, what's it? Are they what's the material? Um, well, those like cloth pop up travel lawn chairs. Yeah, yeah, with a little tray attached yeah. to the front of it, just like a high chair does. I, I think and it has a cup, got a little, little cup holder cup on it. Holder on yeah. it. <laughs> So it's it's so handy and it's super easy to clean because of the material and it's got that like plastic covering on the tray. Yeah. So it's that cloth with the plastic covering on it. You just wipe it clean with a cloth mm-hmm. and you're good to go. Yeah. If you're so inclined, you could hose the thing down. But yeah. moms don't like those sort of things. I mean, you could and then leave it out in the sun to dry, but then it would get ruined. But we will also post the link to that if you would like to buy one. Again, it is about $60 on Amazon, but totally, totally, totally worth it. Yeah. And you will more than likely use it more than once. Yeah. I could even see it being like if we took the tray piece off just a chair. Just being a chair. Yeah. I'd be okay with that. But that one is my top one. The next one that I love is our pack and play. If you Which don't, has kind of become just a standard piece of equipment for say, having you, a kid now. If you don't have a pack and play, then I really don't know what to tell you. Um, I'm, Are you? Is this Rugrats? Do you have like the actual fence for your kids at this point? Yeah, because I'm pretty sure like that's standard. Yeah, that's just kind of become standard like, equipment. You register for a crib, a changing table, and a pack and play. Like that's that's just what you do. <laughs> now, the it becomes the do you pack it. Or is it just for you in your house? Do you actually pack up your pack and play to take with you on a trip? I think it depends on the complexity of your pack and play because there are some that you can get that are like $20 pack and plays that literally all it is is just the four walls and a floor. You know, mm-hmm. there's your base model. And then there's the like higher end model like we have that's got the changing table attachment, that's got the laundry basket attachment, that's got the storage yeah, you we know, don't carry that shit with us. That stuff doesn't go with us. It's just... <laughs> oh, hell no. It's just the, you know... I don't know how that was packed in the original box, let alone yeah. putting that shit back together in the travel. Uh, no. Fuck no. am I know. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, ours has the storage for... It's got, like, three shelf storage with a little laundry basket mesh bag to put all the dirty clothes in that sits right under the changing table attachment. And then, of course, nowadays, most pack and plays have... The the net that sits inside, so they got the little right, right, yeah, riser bassinet. Yeah, so that you can raise it up, so that it's more of a bassinet than an actual all the way down to the floor pack and play or crib. Um, And then it's got the mobile attachment, so that as the baby is in there sleeping, they can whatever. Um, That had like lights and music and the thing spun, and it was actually pretty cool. We really splurged on that last one. We really did, and it is really pretty, and I love it, and it's lasted us. Two kids. It lasted us two kids, and we got it on sale because I will honestly say, as 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 dad, because moms do not give two shits about price 
when they are looking at baby stuff. Yeah, that's Ever. kind of how Babies R Us yeah. came about. Babies R Us is, is just, it's crack for pregnant moms. Oh my god, um, you could lose your wife in there for like a year. Yeah. She would so, have the baby and still be like, we need this. The only reason we have the super swanky, you know, top of the line uh, pack and play is because that thing went on super sale and it was cheaper than a lower grade model. Yeah. Because there was no other argument she could possibly make <laughs> that I would make me agree to this damn thing. Oh my god, you guys, I saw it and I I, I would fell more easily build one. I fell in love with this thing the first time I saw it. I was like, that is the absolute perfect. That is exactly what we need. I have to have it. And then it went on sale and I almost cried tears of joy because I knew he would finally let me get it. <laughs> now, again, we're not saying you have to have this super swanky, top of the line, so many bells and whistles, we ripped shit yeah. off uh, uh, pack and play. Not. You do not need it. Standard but base model pack and play will get you through. A, a, what you need is a place to set your kid that they are basically restrained. You need a box you for your box. kid. You need a box. You need a box that you can easily load up and travel with. Yep. In some way, shape, or form. Uh, we have a, a cheap base model pack and play, and that's what we take with us. We keep the superstar dusty, you know, super fancy one at home. We pack up the cheap one. Yeah, pretty much. And that one, that one is our travel playpen. Yeah. Pack and play, whatever. Um, just so that the kid has somewhere, like he said, to be contained and not where you have mm. to worry about what are they getting into? What are they going to break? Where are they? <laughs> Yeah, you know, you know exactly where they it's are. Like you got a kid that that is small enough to get into trouble, but not big enough to find. <laughs> yeah, or if you know, if you're somewhere where it's not super easy for the kid to take a nap. Yeah. Um, you know, and I don't really trust laying them on grandma and grandpa's bed just because they will probably roll off. Yeah, we especially then, yeah you know, some Sam. kids are yeah some kids are like oh yeah put a pillow on them on their on put a pillow on them. <sighs> don't put a pillow. Don't on put your a child. pillow on them. Put a pillow on either Next side of them and they're them. fine. Other kids, you basically have to have them completely restrained. And I think a lot of that is age. Like Sammy would absolutely have to be in the pack and play because he's one. But he also did, all of our kids, all the boys were very active sleepers. They still yeah, are. They still are. And so But Charlie and Damien yeah. could handle being put on somebody's bed and not fall off well, Damien would probably fall off, but he'd yeah. be fine. <laughs> he'd fall off, but he'd be all right. That's fine. <laughs> he could take it. But, you know. That kid can take a hit, I tell you. Bug is kind of in that it's questionable. He'll probably fall off and he's going to scream about it. Yeah. So it'd probably be better to have him in the pack and play, even though he's kind of big. But whatever. Yeah, even now. I mean, he's he's going on three in a couple of weeks. He'll be three next week. Yeah. On Monday. Oh wow! It is. Like, I'm losing track of dates. It's not like I forgot his birthday. It's no, like you oh crap! His birthday. No, it was a matter of oh crap! It's already there, isn't it? Yeah. Um. But yes. Uh, but yeah, for him, we still put him in the pack and play. If it's nap time when we're on a on out of town, we do that just because it's it's, safer. it's a safe environment for him to lay down in. Yeah. Yeah. And it's contained, and you can put their blankets and stuff in there, and toys, and they can just sit in there and yeah. be in there. You got a you got a, a small toddler. You got a one year old, or like maybe even a two year old, if they're still within the safe weight range of a of a pack and play. And you just and they are content to just sit there and chill. Then it it doesn't hurt to do it. It doesn't yeah. hurt to have it. Because then they've got a, a place that, hey, this is, hey, this is my space. My toys are here. My blankets here. I'm going to sit here with my little juice cup and my, my blocks and I'm going to be fine and I'm not going to be in anybody's way and I'm not going to get trampled by the big kids. Right. So I, I definitely, if you have one, take it. If you don't, go buy a cheap one. Yeah. They're like 20 bucks at Walmart. And you find them at Goodwills all the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just make sure that it's you clean that you, it. That you clean it. Yeah. You know, put it out in the sun for a little bit to kill off all the yuck. Uh, uh, sidebar. Uh, speaking of like putting it out in the sun, I actually saw a thing 
that re- it mentioned it was like one of those interesting factoid things, but it said the reason why your clothes smell better when you dry them in the sun is because the sunlight actually helps kill a lot of the bacteria and the things that would have that would cause like the odors versus if you put it in a mechanical dryer where it's just heat, but the actual sunlight and the UV rays will actually kill off a lot of the bacteria and they make your clothes and your stuff smell better. Yes, I know. That's why I told them to put it in the sun. But I'm just saying, here's the interesting factor <laughs> behind it. Science. Science, yes. But yes, put it out in the sun for a little bit after you wash it. Yeah. Um, the other thing, and this is for more, this is more for those of you who are going on those long, longer road trip type things for the holidays, because we don't take this even when we're going to Tucson. Again, two hour drive for us. We don't take this when we go there, but we do take it on those longer road trips. Um, I have found, and I found this on Pinterest, I will not take credit for this idea at all, but I have found that it is so super handy and so convenient to basically turn a tackle box into your new medicine kit. And that thing holds everything from a box of matches with pads pads of gauze and band-aids to prescription stuff to benadryl you know we've got everything you could possibly think of that you would ever need for your kids or yourself medicine wise is in our tackle box yeah we have a, a very thorough first aid tackle box and it and I guess the the size of the tackle box you need is really dependent on how thorough of a first aid kit do you want to pack. Yeah. I mean, we've got basics for first aid, but we've also got, you know, we've got things like uh, roll aids and tums, like the little uh, tube of the mini Pepto Bismol tabs, mm-hmm. and you know, even like a, a, a tied pen. But then we've got like Benadryl spray and a leave and Benadryl pills and like because we got the benadryl spray for like bug bites and stuff because well and when i pack the tackle box i actually break it down to like basic first aid which is your band-aids your neosporin wet wipes things like that alcohol pads your things you would find in your basic first aid kit and then you've got your pain medication so aleve tylenol for the kids, it's Motrin and Tylenol and their dosing. And Zarbies. And, yeah, and their, their, you know, syringes or Syringes spoons. and cups and spoons for um, all of that. And then you've got the uh, allergy stuff. So the Benadryl sprays, the Benadryl pills, Zarbies, cough syrups, things like that. Um, so yeah. allergy and sinus is kind of all yeah. in one. And then you've got your outdoor stuff. So we've got a thing of mosquito spray in there. You got, a, got the, the, cool, the aloe gel, like burn, sunburn, afterburn, afterburn cream, stuff like that. Yeah. So, I mean, we've kind of, we've got a wide range of stuff in there. Cause you're incredibly overprotective. I am very overprotective, but we will never need any of that stuff because we have it. You know, yeah. it's never going to be a, oh shit, we need to rush him to the urgent care because we don't have, you know, a bandage. Yeah. We don't have it's an like ace we wrap. Have, we have gauze and a and an ace wrap in the first aid kit, just in case. Just in case. Because, you and it may not know. be a, a life-threatening injury, but it's a, it could be bigger than a regular band-aid. Right. And you, you're gonna, you might need a gauze pad or two. And just, and wrap it. And, and even, we've got even a little roll of that little, uh, medical, uh, tape. Oh, stuff. yeah. Like the stuff that when you that give blood or whatever that, that they, they wrap around your elbow that cuts off your circulation. Yeah. That the stuff they wrap around you until your fingers turn some sort of black and, <laughs> and they tell you <laughs> to leave that. it on for two hours. And yeah, we have that. Yeah. Um, they sell it at Fry's. Yep. But yeah, I mean, that thing is, is very well stocked. For pretty much anything that I could foresee actually going wrong. Yeah. It's anything that you wouldn't Anything need. we reasonably foresee. Anything now, that if, you wouldn't need to go to an urgent care or to an emergency room yeah. for. We've got it. Like short of, you know, getting shot or bit by a snake, we're cool. Yeah. I don't know why either of those would pop up. <laughs> Texas. It, for, yeah. <laughs> If we were in Texas, either one is an option. We live in Arizona. Either one of those is an option. Um. But I mean, I I find it so handy, and it's just one of those. I don't I don't even remember the brand. Um, 
I'll find it whenever we post the link it's to like it. It's like a flame... Flambeau. Flambeau. Okay. Yeah, like Flambeau. <laughs> it, it's, we had it at Walmart. We just picked it. Like, yeah, it's a, just a basic uh, tackle box in the sportsman's fishing department yeah, at Walmart. Yeah, it's an actual legit tack- tackle box. If you go... they Now, here's the thing. They have boxes marketed for this purpose, both in the uh, like fabrics and whatnot department, mm-hmm. and in the first aid stuff. They charge twice as much for those damn they things. They absolutely do. They will put twenty dollars. It's it's the exact same damn box, and it's got a red cross, like the red first aid cross on it. Yep. It's no damn different. And Don't they charge twice as much. And I've seen a lot of them have less space. Get a damn tackle box. Just get a get basic it. damn tackle box. Or get a really nice tackle box. And Either you can way, you hyper-categorize all your stuff. And it's like, oh, I need to make sure I have more of this. Or I like I'm, I I'm need to carry these prescriptions with me. And this is the size of my bottles. I want to make sure I have compartments that will fit these. Yeah. So you can definitely do that. Another thing that I really like about it is inside the lid, we have taped the dosing charts for acetaminophen, Tylenol, and ibuprofen, Motrin, for the kids. So we always know the dosing, even though, yes, it's on the bottles, but you never know. Sometimes the bottle stickers fade or whatever. We have the dosing charts. And for, like, infants and toddlers, a lot of those dosages, you get to a point where it just says, ask doctor. That's the numbers we've got. Yeah. We got, we get that chart from our doctor and we posted that in that box because really if they're under four or they're, in some cases, they just, they don't put it on the bottle. It's usually two. Yeah. It's like under under two, ask the doctor. And so our doctor gave us the charts for Tylenol and for Motrin so that we know how much we can give the baby. Yeah. When we're and we about. keep, it's like we've got one in the fat tackle box and we have one that we keep on the fridge. So they're like, hey, kid's sick. This is how much we give them because I don't know about you. It's annoying as hell to not know. And it's dangerous to not know how much Tylenol to be able to give your kid. Yeah. When, yes, you can give your six month old Tylenol. You can. You can. There is a dose there's for There's a it. dose for that. Better it's make very, sure you know it. <laughs> yeah, it's a very small dose, but there's a dose for that. Having that easily, you know, readily on hand is is very important. Yeah. Um, general parenting tip, and and again, we don't, you don't really need to have the tackle box first aid emergency kit for no. an in town trip, or even necessarily like an out of town day trip. But for if you're making that long trip in any for any reason, it's it's worth having, and it's just kind of as a general rule of when you're making a long trip to have a first aid kit. Yeah, and I mean, but that's a good tip like, for having a first aid kit. I think even like the emergency car kits that come with like the jumper cables, your you know, yeah, your your standard emergency like flashlight stuff like that. Flashlight zip ties. Your emergency all that. car yeah. kit has a miniature first aid kit. Yeah, but those are crap. They are. They absolutely unless you are. get that like hundred dollar roadside kit. That's, you know, got the full size flare gun and all that crap. Right. But, but yeah. you know, yes, I, I, but I, most of them are just like a pack of band aids and some, and right. some alcohol swabs. So wouldn't it be nicer to have your own where you know that if something did happen, you're okay? Yeah. You know, Short whatever needing, needs you know you might, ha- might occur. Yeah. Short of needing to go to the emergency room, you're good. Yeah. Hey, you're, di- you're, you have out, yeah. Hey, pack your EpiPens. Mm-hmm. Pack your your just your your standard medication. It's like oh you you take well, heart medication whatever. Pack one your, thing that your, always, pack your prescriptions. One thing that always happens to all of us on our vacation trip is tummy troubles. We all end yeah. up with very upset stomachs. At some point at some point during the trip, and because we go back and we eat a lot of of Texican food. Well, even then, it's like road trip <laughs> food is not. Yeah, you're Friendly. eating a lot of junk on the road it's and not, it ends up... It's not easy on your digestive yeah. system. Um, so, you know, last year we actually had to stop and buy, like, Pepto-Bismol for yeah. Bug because he was not having... Yeah. He was the road not was not fu- The road was not doing his stomach any favors. And, I mean, you're sitting the whole time, so it makes sense. Yeah. But, you know, if you have it in your tackle box, then... It's there, and it's you have there. it, and it's it's good to have. So those are my three things. Yeah. Outside of the diaper bag that I, I feel like 
Depending on how far you're going. Yeah, really, I mean, yeah, those are situationally help. dependent, but... Do you have anything? I don't know, because that's basically wrapped up everything we carry. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. Yeah. Short of, you know, entertainment, which is always handy to have. That's always just one of those, like, road trip recommendations. Is You know, have some entertainment for your kids of some kind. Yeah. Um, if your kids will are good with coloring books, go for it. If your kids need visual stimulation, like, you know, you got to have a movie, there are some pretty cheap reliable uh, automotive DVD players. Just the hang on the back of the seat kind. We got a pretty good set for our last road trip because the built-in DVD player on our van died. It's unfortunate. That, yeah, that's very unfortunate. That's kind of like the whole reason we got <laughs> that stupid That's a big van. part of why we picked that <laughs> van because it had the built-in DVD player and it died. That it, but it, it didn't cost us but 100 bucks to... And it's like a double screen. Do. So I... Something like that, you know, have entertainment for your kids because there's nothing that sucks the the happy out of the road part of the trip than screaming bored children. Mm-hmm. And they, it does not take but 10 minutes on the road before they get bored and they start taking it out on you. Yep. And the van. And the van. And they will. And they will. <clears throat> but, yeah, if you have, you know, whatever form of entertainment your kids are into, if they read on the road, I know that was always when I was a kid. If, as long as I had a few books, I was happy. Nerd! Sorry. Excuse you? Nerd. Sorry. Excuse you? I know, I'm the bigger nerd, but you're the bookworm, so whatever. Oh, pardon me for being the intelligent one. Fuck you very much. <laughs> um... So, as long as I had books, I was happy. I know some kids don't color on the van, but our kids do, so we don't get yeah we colors. tried <laughs> we tried that crayons and here here's some coloring books now that that failed miserably yeah. that I was, spent a lot that of was time a rental van we had to clean before we got I had to scrub back. a lot of crayon off of car walls. So, and, and you know, if you're into the whole, you know, let's play the license plate game, kids. As long Great. as your kids are into it, that's fine. If your kids don't give two shits, stop. Yeah, and I mean, I, I spy only goes so far before everybody wants to shoot each other. So Yeah, about like two miles. <laughs> so, you know, take something that your kids will be into. Otherwise, you will feel their wrath. Yeah. Absolutely. Take something your kids will be interested in, not you. Yeah. Not what you want them to be interested in. You can want your kids to read all damn day, but if they're not going to do it, don't waste the time bringing yeah. them books. Yep. If they would rather watch the, you know, the one, here come the one, two, threes, then let them watch here come the one, two, threes. Hey, that was pretty good. I still, I still, I got that and it pissed you off, but that CD, DVD was a good investment. Yeah, I know. I still catchy. need to get the other one. Yeah, those songs are catchy as hell. <laughs> you know what? I that that's my favorite. That was gonna be my. That's probably my favorite uh, out of the box, out of the out, out of, of the, the diaper, out of the diaper bag accessory, is the here come the one two threes DVD CD because they were entertaining as all hell <laughs> for and them. The music is catchy. Is it's good music, and it's and if you have a DVD player, the videos are really funny. So, I feel like we should mention who these are by. It's Here Come the One, Two, Threes, and there's also an ABC one. There's Here Come the ABCs, and Here Comes the Science. And I've heard, just going through reviews, that the ABC one is actually, like, the weakest. That was, like, their first one. And then Here Come the One, Two, Threes was after that. And then Here Comes the Science. I heard Here Comes the Science is really good, and I want to get it, because it gets into, like, chemistry and physics. And in any, if it's anywhere near as good and... As fun as the one, two, threes, I re- I'm, I'm ashamed that we haven't gotten it so far. <laughs> so this is all by They Might Be Giants, which yeah. they're kind of actually like a big band. Yeah, know? they're like they're a legit like indie like progressive like, experimental Punk alternative. Rock-ish. Yeah, they're like they're they're like an experimental indie rock band, but they've been around for like twenty something years. But they do a lot of kids stuff. In fact, if you have little kids and you watch Disney and you've seen Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, they're the ones that do the theme song for Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Yeah, they do the hot dog dance song. And hot dog dance. And they did a song for, uh, crap, I can't remember the name of the show now. Um, It's that one where they're all like Russian nesting dolls. (laughs) 
I can't remember the name of the show now, but they do a song for that too. I have no idea. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds very strange. But it's it's, they, the, it's the 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 heart of the the heart of the band, the drumming song. Oh, oh, that yeah. The I don't drummer know. is the heart of the band. I yeah, that song. I don't remember what show that is. I can't remember what this show is, but they did. Yeah, but they've done a few. About. They've done some shows for for Disney Channel for kids program, and yeah, but they're on they're on the one two threes CD. With videos to match. Yeah. And, I mean, they're cute, and the, the boys like yeah. them, so. They still sing the the uh, <laughs> nine bowls of soup and the seven days of the week. <laughs> I was going to say, I still sing the... Seven days of the week. The, no, I don't want to go no, to work. I never go to work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that, that one was the one that had really struck a chord. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly did. But take whatever they will actually like. Yeah. Because that's going to make your life that much so easier. Much easier. <laughs> the only other tip that I can think of, if you're traveling, try to travel, if you can, at times where they would normally sleep. Yes. Because Just if removes you, a headache. It, it does. If you get up and eat breakfast and get on the road, be aware that your kids are going to be awake. Yeah. They just woke up. Don't expect them to go back to sleep yet. Yeah. You know, if you wake up and get on with your day, you know, you have breakfast, you get the car loaded up, you get everything in place, and then you go, yeah, they'll probably fall asleep and that's okay. Yeah, it's like nap time and hey, that's a good time to hit the road. Bedtime is an even better time to hit the road. Put your pajamas on and get in the van. Let's go. (laughs) As long as you're going to be able to actually do that. Yes, do make sure that you have somebody that can drive. Cause because some people can do that, some people can't. Some people can are fine with doing the the long the overnight driving. I can't drive at night. Yeah, I fall asleep instantly. Yeah, I just can't. I've become accustomed to being up much later at night. My biological clock doesn't tell me to go to sleep till around two or three. And see, I think that kind of helps, especially with like our vacation, because. You're, you you work overnights, I work days, yeah. so you're used to being awake at night. As long as you got a decent enough nap in during the day yeah. and some sleep the night before, then you're good to drive at yeah. night. If I'm, we want to leave at night, you yeah. can do that. I'm I'm pretty good until 2 or 3 a.m. Yeah. yeah. And then, you know, I I can't drive at night. It makes me tired. I yeah. just am You're not, a daytime person. I'm a daytime person. I'm not wired to be awake at night. No. Yeah. Like it's, but if, it if was you can take advantage of that, entire. absolutely. Yeah, if you can take advantage of that, absolutely do it. But again, these these are just kind of you know helpful hints for if it's an option, take the option. Yeah, you know if you're going somewhere where it, maybe it is supposed to be a day trip, go there the night before. There's nothing wrong yeah. with showing up the night before and crashing at whoever's place on the couch. Yeah, take your pack and play. Your kid has a place to sleep. Yeah. You're good to go. It's like you crash on the couch, get up in the morning, and now you've got more time to spend with your family. Yeah. So and I you're mean, not dri- and you're not doing all your driving in one day, and you feel like you've wasted half your day in the car. Yeah. So I mean, definitely plan ahead for that and see what options you have and what options you can take. Yeah. Um, because it it it'll pay off in the long run. It'll make you. Yeah. It'll make it a, just a seamless process. Yeah. And yes, it's the, very, the it, things, it removes a lot of stress. Yeah. And yes, the things you take are important, but they, they're not important if you're going to stress out about the things that you take. Yeah. You know, if you can't afford a pack and play, okay, don't worry about it. If you can't afford a portable high chair. Okay. It's fine. Mm, you these know? things aren't all necessary. These are not necessarily all cheap. No. But they, if you can do it, it does really help. Yeah. But if don't go out and splurge and spend all this money because, you know, you listen to these two dumbasses. Uh, hey, on, rude. I, nah, 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 nah. Anyway, but because you listen to these two crazy people in Arizona that said, oh, you need to have this $200 pack play in this $60 high chair and uh, this super fancy flower bottle brush. Like, no, it, no, you, do, do you go, should probably get the, the, the fancy get that, flower brush. That, that's actually yeah. it's it's worth the investment. It's not that big. <laughs> it's a little bit more than the cheap ones. Don't worry about it. But 
you know, don't do it because we told you. Do it because it's possible. It's capable. You are capable of doing it, and it'll it. help it. Only do it if it's a necessity to you. Yeah, do it if it fits what you need. All the stuff that we have mentioned has been stuff that we have used time and time again. Yeah. You know, we, it's not something that we bought for a specific trip. If this is, you know, you're only ever going to go out of town once a year, then you probably don't need a $60 high chair because yeah. odds are next year your kid's not going to need it. Yeah. We've got four kids. We needed it. Yeah. It lasted through a couple of kids. So. And again, we, we also use it as a, a guest high chair when we have family visiting with kids because right. we've got a lot of family with kids. Right. So if you don't, if you don't need it for that purpose, then you probably don't need it. Yeah. You know, if you, if it's just a one time trip, then you're probably okay. So take into consideration what is actually going to work for you, what you actually need. Um, and again, check out the products that we're going to post in the show notes because they are really, really helpful things. Um, I absolutely love having them and I wish I could post a link to the 31 bag that I have, but they don't make that one anymore. Um, I can post a link to the small version of it that we use, that I use as a purse and that we use as a diaper bag, but the big one that we have holds everything. Yeah. Except for, of course, the high chair and the playpen because weird, but. Yeah. If you, that, that, that's some, uh, Halloween town purse stuff going if you it's a mary poppins bag it's a mary that's a mary poppins bag right there it's like i put my high chair and my pack and play and the stroller emmett how did you get in here yeah <laughs> <laughs> how did you put that in? but that's yeah so you know, accio high chair you know sorry oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I just remembered the, the scene in Harry Potter where they were looking for shit in, in the bottomless yes, purse. Yes, you so. remembered the scene in Harry Potter. Nah. You don't get to talk. <laughs> okay. Now that that's been dealt with, um, do what works for you. Yeah. Don't do not do what we said because we said do what works for you. And we've got some... We, we always... Because we always say... We're telling you based on our experiences. Yep. Your experience may be completely different. And so like, that's what they say in like every uh, financial investment show. <laughs> right. Results may vary. Revol- results may vary. Your experience may differ from those presented. <laughs> yes. so, your experience may differ from the, the the crazy shit we've had to deal with. You've got your own crazy shit. What was that show? Was it Reading Rainbow where he was like, but you don't have to take my word for it. Yeah, you don't have to take my word for it. <laughs> So, you know, just do do what works for you. But yeah. if you find the stuff helpful, let us know. Drop us an email at momanddadcuss at gmail.com. I'd love to know if somebody else found this stuff helpful or as helpful as I think it is. Yeah. Or if you have something else that we didn't list that you think is just absolutely have to have, let me know because I am all for yeah. finding stuff like that because we do yeah. go on these trips a lot we go every year so if you have something for older kids for younger kids we've got one in every age range at this point so let me know yeah i'd love to hear from or you. recommendations for when they get a little bit older yeah <laughs> like we're, yeah. we're coming into that they they don't get any younger what, so. what do preteens like i Pete read the rolls according to the commercials i read books my children don't read books they read books, but they don't read books like you read books. They don't read books. But yeah, if you have any recommendations, I even say go uh, share it on the the Facebook page, the Facebook dot com slash mom and dad cuss, because that way you're not just sharing it with us; you're sharing it to everybody else who likes the show and who no, listens to the show. I want to be selfish. Email me. No, I'm kidding. I don't <laughs> just care. send it direct to me. I want to hoard your secrets. I'm going to keep your secrets. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I don't care. Yeah, find us. Share it. Tell me. Tell me your secrets. Tell me your secrets. <laughs> Would you knock it off? I'm going to kick you off the show. <laughs> okay, then you are going to work. Then it's going to be mom cusses a lot. Yeah. And nobody wants to hear that podcast because <laughs> it's going to be, what the fuck does this fucking button do? What's Shit. this fucking fuck do? What the, god damn it. Um. <laughs> How do I push record? Yeah. Oh, there it is. There it is. How do I stop recording? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It would just be a lot of Adam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Yep, I'm only on the show because I, I I know how the buttons work. Yep, yep that's you, the secret. You definitely push my buttons. <laughs> it wouldn't be mom and dad cuss if I didn't. Oh uh, goodness! Okay. So, so I think we will have one more installment in our holiday holidays. Um, on the next show, I want to talk about hosting. Hmm. This show we went over everything that you needed preparation wise to. Yeah, the last two go. weeks have been very much the going for the holidays. So I guess we can cover. So I want to do one on hosting. Which would be very convenient considering the next one will be coming out right before Thanksgiving. Right. So. So if you will be hosting, be sure to tune in and listen for our tips and tricks on how to deal with not only your kids, but with meal prep with dealing with other people's kids with you know cleaning the house before how the hell are you going to get your whole house clean for everybody to show up that's what kids are for for. (laughs) but you know we'll we'll go over some of our tips and tricks for getting the house presentable the food made and make sure the kids are not you know climbing the curtains when guests are here and more in the, the from the parental side because and the hosting from the parental side, not the food prep side, because that's what Food Network Thanksgiving is for. Yeah, no, it, it, it won't. <laughs> that's a whole other show. It won't be, you know, the best recipe for this. Here's how to time out your turkey, your rolls, your green bean casserole, your mashed potatoes. <laughs> I could do that show. I'm not going to. Well, Again, that's what Food Network Thanksgiving is for. Well, it'll it'll have a little bit of that, but not a whole lot. Yeah. So maybe, and, and to the degree that it works, that it relates to the keeping your kids in line. Exactly. So be sure to tune in next week because I think that's going to be a really fun show yeah. to go over. Here we go. I'm so proud of us planning ahead. Well, see, we say this <laughs> shit. shit and then the night before we're like, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> shit, we haven't prepared anything. Like, okay, here's how the game's going to work. Or five minutes before the show. Okay, this is what I'm going to say we're going to do for the game. Yeah. (laughs) Like, I promised a game. Shit, I have to make up a game. (laughs) So, yeah. (laughs) Be sure to tune in next week so that we can go over that part of the holidays and give you our tips and tricks for that. In the meantime, though, definitely be sure to check us out on Facebook. Like we said, facebook.com slash mom and dad cuss. And for the show notes with all of the links, which I'm going to straight up tell you, it might be a day or so late. If you are listening to this on release date, it might be a day or so late. So we can get all of everything that we talked about uh, thrown together and all the links and the pictures. So you know exactly what all this crazy stuff is. Because we, we ran through a lot of stuff. Yep. But... It, it may be a day or so, but I'll get all those up at uh, momanddadcuss.blogspot.com. And on the left side, because I actually looked this week, uh, down the left side there are all of these subscribe buttons for iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, um, generic Android, where if you are an Android person and you don't use Google Play or whatever, if you click the subscribe on Android button, it'll actually take you to a place that will give you a list of apps that you can use which is really nifty like narnia for the app store i don't know if you click on this it's going to take you to a place well i guess is it like cell phone narnia well don't all links take you to a place but you click on that and it 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 gives you a nice little list of places that you can click that you can subscribe you click on that you can click on other things yes you can click on other things and those other things will take you to places where you can download our show that's not that show. Yes. This isn't that show. Stop that. that. I don't know that show. <laughs> You're doing that other show. Stop it. What other show? <laughs> You're doing the voice of that other show. Stop it. I was just doing a random voice that no, I do. No, you weren't. Okay. Anyway. And I might have other names. That you Stop <laughs> it! <laughs> oh, that show? Yeah, that show. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so until next week, <laughs> I'm Adam. I'm going to beat you over the head, I swear. <laughs> I'm Rihanna. Good night, everybody. Bye. <laughs>